We're very excited to be investors in Airbnb through their acquisition of Hotel Tonight a little while back. And um, this is obviously a very exciting day. Yeah. Um, you know, as the ladies were just saying, 18 billion at the depths of the pandemic low to more than 100 billion now. Um, is that crazy? Well, I think that um, these are these are in various different ways, um, very, very uh, strange times. Uh, and certainly with COVID going on, I think you could have seen a path for Airbnb that was really dire. And for a short time, it really looked that way. Um, but I think they've been able to show incredible resilience and pivot towards um, a lot of needs in the market that wouldn't normally have been there, but really make a big difference. As an example, my family went to Venice with a tour guide on an Airbnb experience last week because um, we can't go to Venice in person. Uh, and I think a lot of those types of experiences will lead to people using Airbnb that might not have otherwise used it and habituate towards using it in the future. What do you do with the shares that you're holding? Are you are you selling on this momentous day? Uh, we are definitely not selling uh, today, and we're, we are bullish on the future of the company, but I, I can't speak beyond that. Okay. You know, Spencer Raskoff, who, who founded Zillow um, and has some VC stuff in his own right, tweeted earlier, uh, not that long ago, in fact, and I want your reaction to it, says, congratulations, Airbnb, on having built an incredible product and brand, creating an entire new category and having navigated COVID. An IPO is a huge milestone. I just wish the offering price had more accurately reflected the, quote, now apparent true value of the company. Is that an issue, how, how this was priced, how DoorDash was priced yesterday? And how do we get around that? I mean, I think this is like a fun game for, for all of us to play, to sit around and say, what's the perfect price? Where should they have gone out? What should that first trade be? Where is it going to be at the end of the first day? And I think what's special about this team um, and the leadership that Airbnb has, has luckily had throughout is they're building for the long term. They were started in a recession. Um, they endured this very, very difficult period with COVID. And I'm just super impressed by how they've come out of that. And I think it's um, I think the reality is, you know, Brian Chesky was on earlier and I was glad to hear him say with high prices come very high expectations. I think the reality for them is they got to go continue to build that business and continue to show value. And I think what really matters is years from now. What does this business look like? Not where was the price today? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.